Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to share on the introduction of Metapreter or Meta Interpreter. From the previous tutorial, I have demonstrated how you can exploit a machine and run an individual payload in the compromised machine. However, individual or single payload can only do a single task at a time. If you want to execute more than one task in the machine, like creating a file, transferring files, run VNC, and others, using a single payload every time you want to attack a system will cost more time and will create more process which might lead to unnecessary alarm in the targeted system. Secondly, once the single payload is executed, you cannot add more additional function to the payload functionality. Single payload doesn't have the flexibility to do more than what it is supposed to do. To solve this problem, Metasploit comes with a payload that is called Metapreter or Meta Interpreter. Metapreter is a post exploitation tool that we can use to maximize our pen testing work. Metapreter uses in memory DLL injection. This means whenever you do any post exploitation attacks using Metapreter, it will use the existing exploited system process without creating any new process or writing a new file on the exploited system disk. You can do more research on DLL injection. The communication between MSF console and Metapreter is in a such of client and server communication which is totally encrypted. The attacker will be the client and the exploited system will be the server. The communication happens in type length value or TLV. Metapreter resembles a command prompt similar to bash prompt and comes with a lot of post exploitation scripts. You can do bunch of cool stuff using the post exploitation script. I will be posting more tips on this in my upcoming tutorial. On top of this, Metapreter also allows you to extend the functionality by running your own scripts on a targeted machine. This makes Metapreter is a very powerful tool for a pen tester. Now, as an introduction, I will share on how to get into Metapreter from your machine. In your MSF console, look for Windows vulnerability by searching NAT API. My targeted machine is running on Windows XP. Use the exploit and set the remote host IP address. In this example, my targeted machine IP address is 10.10.10.4. Once you set the IP address, type in exploit. By default, Metasploit will automatically choose the payload to run Metapreter. That is how easy to run Metapreter on the targeted machine. We will explore more 
on Metapreter functionalities in my other video tutorial. There is the tutorial for today. If you like this tutorial, please click to subscribe and thank you for watching.